What is good, Greg Gang? I'm in here today. I am prepping to go to Destin. If you don't know where Destin, Florida is, it's right here. It's in, it's like the Gulf, but there's a beach. And that's what we're going to be fishing off of. Now, obviously, I'm from Kentucky, so I have no idea how to beach fish. The last time I was there, I bought this setup and fished off the beach a little bit. Didn't catch a thing. So that's one pole I'm going to take. I'm just going to take this rig right here because there are a few freshwater ponds and there are some canals. And I'm also going to take this, which is my bait cast rod, because... Hmm. Well, pretty much the same reason as spinning reel. There are some canals there, and maybe I'll get on a bass or something. Supposedly, there's really big bass where I'm going. But last time I went, they weren't buying. But since I'm traveling a pretty good ways, I can't take everything I own. I'm going to have to take a KG backpack, fill it up with what I need. Here, go over there. All right, now whenever I'm packing my backpack, now whenever I'm packing my backpack, I got I to gotta have... I already said that, didn't I? Now, whenever I'm packing my backpack, I need to take everything I need and nothing that I don't. Obviously, there's going to be tackle stores down there, but let's say I get out on the beach and then I find out I forgot pliers. With a shark in my hand? I'm probably not going to make it out alive, but let's go through the backpack and make sure I got everything. First things first, OSHA approved electrical tape. If you don't have that, what you doing? I got my handy dandy KG pliers. These things can do everything and... Those are really important though. Up here in the top zipper, I have a boost. That's always rocked and ready to go. And then half a bottle of water. Kind of like a lunch box in the top. It is a lunch box and it works. You best believe I'm bringing home a stingray in that. Were you bringing an iguana home? Mmm, wrong part of Florida. Then right here, I got nothing. Right down here is where I usually put my tackle boxes. I got a ton of little saltwater circle hooks. I got big weights there. I got pyramid weights right here. Got some leaders, some bobbers, which I probably won't use. You fishing for the Loch Ness Monster down there. The thing about Florida, Florida, you get a shrimp that big, you toss it out. You ain't got a clue if you're gonna catch something that big or as big as this thing. You can go ahead and take the scale out. And now that I got all my fishing stuff ready, we're still not done, guys. We gotta get ready for bait. Listen to KG for a minute. Let me just give you a life, a life lesson tip, okay? The easiest way to make money is to save money. If I can take my little shrimp bucket that I paid $14.99 for and not have to pay $14.99 again. I just made $14.99. Now as for the aerator, I packed it around school with me for about six months and then it just disappeared. I don't know what happened. Why are you packing an aerator in school? If anyone had a fish, I was their guy. I don't know where it is. Boom, baby, let's go. It's in rough shape, but it'll work, I promise. What'd you think? You think if we press it on, it's gonna turn on? No. No? I told you it'd work. It is stinking running. These things are invincible, dude. Gosh, look, oh Lord, I mercy. What kind of batteries was we powering this with? A nuclear generator? I'd hope it works with them things. You can bury them things in the sand for two years and they'll still work. Works like a champ. Bada boom, bada bing, bam. Is that a clock? Yeah. One more knot, and we are 
off to Florida. All right, hold up, guys. Before we go to Florida, um, this month's mystery tackle box just came in. So we're going to open it up and see what we get to use. Whatever's in this box, we're probably going to be using it at Florida. Let's see what's in it. Cool thing I really like about mystery tackle box is that they send you baits that work the month they send them. So with it being in the spring, they're probably going to send me some baits that are going to do pretty good in the spring. We got a swim jig. Then we got some shaky heads in case it does get slow. We got some biospawn worms right there. Or I can just floating worm these like a wacky worm. Look at that. That's a solid bait for Florida if I've ever seen one. For multi-species. Then we got a crankbait and then rounding it off with some big tube soft plastics. If you guys want to check out Mystery Tackle Box, they send you a box full of baits every single month. Now if you want yourself a Mystery Tackle Box, use my link down in the description and my promo code. That'll get you $10 off your first box. And that promo code, all caps, gray game. Now, let's get to Florida. Okay, guys, we don't have much time to talk. I just got here, okay, kinda. I mean, we're at the beach, that's cool. Anyways, this place has freshwater ponds for bass, a bay for whatever lives in a bay, and an ocean for whatever the heck lives in an ocean. Here's the view, yeehaw. But here's the thing, guys, I just went out and scouted some of the ponds. I'm talking lunkers, dude. Like at least 16 pound bass. I'm not even kidding, I'm not even kidding. And even better than that, my boy, they're on bed. So what am I gonna use? I got this popper that we unboxed, you know, right before I left. But then I also got a spinning rod with a little floating worm. I think we're probably gonna take some kind of white floating worm so that I can also see it. But most importantly, probably even more important than the bait we're using, polarized sunglasses so that I can see them. And lucky for you, I know where you can get some from KG. Just like all that other stuff that we packed, we also got polarized sunglasses. They make me look fly. Can we get one to come slash out first link description, guys? I don't know. I just want to get out there and fish. All right, guys, so we're here. The bass were literally like, there's like three bass right around that thing. There's a little pop right here. I'm thinking I've already got the popper tied on, but it's also midday and they're like on beds and I want to be pretty soft with it so I think I'm gonna rock with this pull in here get some get a white KG yeet worm I'm telling you boys I think that should grab him this should be really easy unless they've been caught before it's just gonna take some time to aggravate them since they're on bed and the sun's in their face so that's gonna be good may take longer than I thought. All right, we gotta move to plan B. We're gonna have to get something heavier. We're gonna keep the white worm, but we need something heavier to where I can actually let it sink right into their bed and then jiggle it around, make it all dusty. And then in the mystery tackle box, if y'all remember, they sent me like some shaky head things and this should be perfect because it has enough weight to sit in the bed. I can just jiggle it just like that until I eventually bite it. There he is. Finally. This one actually uh, was easier to catch than I was thinking it was going to be. That's a pretty good one. It's kind of fat. We'll let him go right back wherever I found him. In the meantime, we'll snack on this apple. All right, guys. Here we got Here we got a couple on a bed. The thing about bed and bass, I'm sure a ton of y'all probably don't care at all, but you got to try to find some that are locked on. So, like, if some are sitting in one spot and staying in one spot, that's what you want. But if you're finding some that's kind of wavy and they leave for like a minute and then they come back and they kind of don't stay on one spot, honestly, just leave those. They're not gonna, they ain't no fun, okay? Without polarization, which is without sunglasses, you can maybe see a fish right in there, but maybe not too good. But once I put these lenses over it, after I put these lenses on it, you can see it so much better. And now you can kind of see a little thing. What are you doing? Come on. Anyways, here's my dad. I'm going to make him be the cameraman. All right, just stand behind me, and I'm going to catch this fish. It really shouldn't take long. Basically, what I'm doing is just I'm getting it in his nest, moving it around every now and again. If I can, smack him in the side of the head with this. It just makes him mad. And eventually, he'll bite it. Right there. Come on. He had it. His main objective is to pick this up and just take it off the nest. Eventually, I'll get him to hold on to it long enough for me to set the hook, though. There he is. Mm. 
That's why using the color white is such a good bait because instead of feeling him, because he's going to snap at it a lot, you can see the bait and you'll see whenever it disappears inside his mouth. There he is. His name's Johnson, but we're going to let him go. I don't usually bed fish on my channel much, mainly because in Kentucky it don't last long and they're not big fish to start with. And now that I've caught this guy, I'll get up a little bit closer so that y'all can actually see him. It'd be nice if I could do that during high school, wouldn't it? it would have been. But if you don't really care about bass fishing, just hang in there because this evening I think we're actually going to go out on the beach and see what we can do right there. Look what a lunker I have found. Let me show you on the sunglasses now. Now you can see the sunglasses, but he's just cruising. That one right there doesn't have a nest. He's just cruising the bank. I may be able to catch him in the evening with like a popper or something. Dad said that this one fish came back to nest, so let's check him out. Yeah, there he is. Now you can see him. I don't know what my camera's doing. Oh, he just left. No, he's back. There he is, doing his job. Basically what his job is right now, and it's why, which is why he was so territorial. Basically, I was just imitating like a bluegill. And so he comes and he's just guarding it from bluegill, as you saw right there. Well, let's go on down. We'll find another bass. We'll catch it. Then we'll go get some shrimp and actually try to catch a shark or something. I don't know. Oh, man. He had it. Or she had it. I'm not really sure which one it was. I can catch this one, though. There he is. Got it. No. Oh, man. Almost. I'll get him. Don't worry. We'll catch this guy real quick, though. It ain't going to take a minute. He got it. Nope. He let it go. You can get a little bit closer so I can see. Oh, he's got it right there. No, he let it go. He's fired up. Oh. Dang. There he is. Just took a little bit of time. Oh my gosh. This may be the best one so far. He's fighting the best so far. We got the fish right here. And then we're gonna go get some shrimp and then we're actually gonna finish off the evening over at the beach and uh, trying to, I don't know, catch a beach fish and not a bass fish. i tell you what I will do, though. Never mind, I ain't gonna do. All right, bye. We are on a pier in the bay. Now, if you know me, you know that I know nothing about what I'm doing right now, but I'm just gonna try my best. Here's our view. Okay, giant thingies in the back. We got this little pier. It's a bay pier, so it's not necessarily the ocean, but it is a bay. I don't know if it's salt water or not. I don't know. Ask someone that knows. We actually came here yesterday and scouted a little bit, and we saw some redfish about that big, and then a bunch of them are ranging in this size, and they're just sculling around the pier. So what I do have is I have my big surf rod. I'm just gonna put some bait on it and throw it out there and see what happens. Now, I actually went to Walmart last night, picked up some bait, and went to see if they had any saltwater combos, and here's what we did at Walmart. I don't know what we need, dude. Oh, we do need leaders. I need leaders. Can you get me a bag? 18 inches. That's pretty long, ain't it? Yeah, I don't want that many. That's a six pack, 12 inches. That's what I'm looking for. Next thing I need are some swivels. Something like those, but... There's brass snap swivel. I don't want brass. I don't think they look cool. I don't like shiny. Those are all right, but they look weird. This brand looks cool, but this brand looks expensive. We we'll also need something that's big enough to hold a fish, so big ones are probably good. If the leader's 40 pounds and these are 49, that should work pretty right. Next up, KG needs some spoons. Oh, here they are. Lord have mercy. What in the world would eat that? KG also needs a fishing pole, but I don't know if he's going to find one. Walmart's looking a little thin on saltwater combos. Let's see. We need a one ounce spoon? Nah, I just need a spoon big enough for a fish to eat. I feel like a fish might want to eat that. How many ounces is that? That ain't one ounce. Yeah, that's one ounce spoon. I'll get two of them. We'll get one in silver, one in bronze, and then one small one in silver. Hey, there's mystery tackle box. Dude, should I get a mystery tackle box? Why are they locked up like that? I think we're gonna get us a mystery tackle box. We're getting us a mystery tackle box salt water. And we're gonna see just how good these things are. Well, now I need a fishing pole. I don't know if I'm gonna buy one here because these don't look too hot. Just saying. All right, so as you saw, the uh, Walmart definitely didn't have much, but they did have the mystery tag box. So we're going to go ahead and open it and see what it's got. Y'all kind of already saw it, but just in case you didn't get a hold of it, I got that mystery tag box. I got those snaps, those leaders, and three big spoons. Now, I'm thinking the spoons, maybe I can toss them out along this dock right here and twitch them back. Maybe I'll get something. See what happens. Okay, I think we can definitely catch fish. First thing we got are some hooks. Next up, we got that right there. Just like a little swim bait. Then it's got a spinner tail on the back. Rattle bait. And then lastly, in case we do get on some big fish we got those right there i'm actually gonna start off with this i'll tie that on this rod in a minute but for now let's go ahead and hook up the surf rod i'm just gonna toss it not very far at all there you go now it's tight lines and we're ready to rock and roll now we get to play with this thing i think this should work pretty good though 
just gonna throw it out and reel it back. Looks good to me. I'm sure something will eat it. Oh, there he is. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one. I got something. I don't know what the world he is, but I got something. Dude, let's go. Oh, it's a redfish. It's a redfish. He's not a big one, but he's one. He was over here on the flat, and I've been fishing over there on the weird part the whole day. Come on up here, old son. That'll do it. That'll do it. I don't know anything about that. Oh, calm down, Jamarami. Dude, this guy was out on the flat. I don't know if that's normal or what. I'll drop him right here. I don't really know what else to do with him. I mean, uh, see you, Jamarami. <laughs> Dang, son. I'll be honest, guys. If I had one a little bit bigger than that, I don't know if I'd be able to get him in. Because I think I'm using like 40 pound line, and I'm sure this hook's definitely not no 40 pound hook. But I don't know, there's nothing happening. And then the first cast over here into this flat stuff, and I got bit. Flats in the morning. I don't know. Makes sense. Sounds like I've heard it on a fish show before. I'll run with it, bro. Works for me. And so yeah, that face right there, that pretty much sums it up pretty good. Not a single thing even lives in the dang ocean, dude. There ain't nothing even there. I don't know even why I fished there, dude. Needless to say, I didn't catch anything. But to make up for it, I'm gonna give you guys a little something, okay? A little spice. I'm going to go ahead and start our spring fishing sale right now on kindlegray1.com slash shop or first link in the description. Everything fishing related, that means backpacks, any of the stuff, fishing scales, anything you saw in the video, 10% off, just use code SPRING, all caps, 10. But yeah, at the end of the day, guys, I am kind of salty, both figuratively and literally. I mean, like, that stuff gets in places it don't need to be. Didn't, uh, didn't catch anything in the ocean. But stay tuned for Thursday's video. It's going to be a banger. I caught some fish. And yes, my eye is red, and I have no idea why. But comment your favorite part of the video. I read the comments.